Our new home has a bar, but it has a Ford Mica top on it, and I thought, I can do better than that. I can make a wooden bar. So I used some of this oak that I got from a whiskey barrel maker, and a couple of strips of walnut. Some of the pieces were jointed, for the most part, so I sorted out the ones that needed planing. It was a dirty job. Once I had them all flattened, I glued them all up. I originally intended to glue them in one big slab, but I thought that would be too unwieldy and heavy to move, so I left them in three pieces. To flatten them, I was going to use my router jig with my one and three quarter inch router bit. As I said before, this is the messiest thing you can do in your shop. That's not smoke in the air, that's dust. So make sure you're wearing a respirator when you're doing this. I flattened one side, and then the next day I came back to flatten the other side. So I cut them to the size I wanted with the jigsaw, and I intended to use the offcuts as a skirt to go on the front. I removed the tool marks with a plane and then sanded it. And then I removed the formica from the top with the chisel on this hammer. That made a mess too. I cut off the round bit because I didn't want or need that section. And I sanded it to make sure it was mostly flat. I test fit the pieces, but I had a little whip between my three pieces, so I was trying to get the best fit. I had to shim up one end of the rear section. And I secured it all down with screws. And then sanded it. I originally intended to use, simply use finishing nails, but uh, they weren't long enough, so I used screws instead. And I stripped the head of one of the screws, so I had to remove it with some vice grips. Put a new screw in there. And of course, I broke off another screw. I guess those were cheap screws or something. So I tidied up the holes that I had drilled for the screws and filled them with wood fill, which didn't look so bad until I put the finish on, and then they kind of stood out. I tried to stain them, but that didn't really work. Then I put several layers of polyurethane on it, sanding between coats, make sure it was nice and smooth. So I decided to make little buttons out of this one half inch dowel to try to cover the holes that I made with the screws. I had some stain that's called golden oak, but it's, I don't know, it was a little too dark once I got uh, all the stain on there. It looked darker on the end green. But I glued them on anyway, and they kind of matched the walnut strips. I think it turned out pretty nice. <laughs> 